July 2018, Community Development Group, City of Zion and Neo Global Development teamed up for a joint sprint at the Neo offices in Shanghai. City of Zion has over 50 contributors from all over the world, dedicated to helping Neo reach its full potential. Seven members made the journey to China, each bringing their own unique set of skills to the table. Okay, so my name is Ashley Rolston. I'm known as Ashant on Discord. I'm from the United Kingdom and I'm a software developer for City of Zion. I'm one of the original City of Zion developers, so I'm on the council and I've been working with Neo for just over a year now. Hi, I'm Salgon. My real name is Fernando and I come in from Spain and I, I am part of City of Zion and Reforce. Hi, my name is uh, Belen. My real name is Jaime. I'm also from Spain. I'm part of City of Zion a community. We are doing mainly uh, security stuff. We are part of the security team and also we are part of the new SARP developer. Okay, hi. Uh, my name is Jin Xiang. So I go by the handle of Snowy Powers. Um, so uh, I'm actually from Singapore, but right now I'm working as a software engineer in California, America. Uh, so I'm the maintainer of Neon.js, which is the JavaScript SDK that interacts with the Neo blockchain. Uh, hello, I'm Ricardo. I'm a developer from Neo Sharp, and I'm from Brazil. Hello, Grace. I'm Gio. Uh, we, I, we are here as a team from Brazil and I'm working on your shop and documentation. Uh, hi Gracie, I'm Ricardo too, but call me the Coba. Um, we are here to contribute to the nail sharp. The purpose of the Shanghai Sprint was to coordinate on a new node implementation called Neo Sharp. Neo Sharp was created by City of Zion council member Ashley, known as Ashant, with modularity, flexibility, and testability in mind. Ashant explains. Well, Neo Sharp is basically taking a lot of the original code and putting it into a new structure that is using modern software engineering techniques to make it testable, to make it modular so that we can swap in new code easily. Um, so it's important because it makes the future development of NEO a lot easier uh, to accomplish. So NEO has large plans to increase the transactions per second by using new consensus algorithms to, to improve the virtual machine that we use. And all of these things become a lot easier once you have uh, a proper modular system where we can swap parts in and out. And we can also make it a lot more stable by testing. So Neo Sharp is a ground up rewrite with the intention of improving the overall quality of the code uh, that we, we deploy. Another core benefit of Neo Sharp will be its accessibility to new developers joining the Neo ecosystem. So Neo Sharp aims to be a more modular implementation of the existing code. Um, we find that um, Currently, um, the process is very slow because for the Python and the Go developers, they have to read and understand the existing implementation and then try to reverse the implementation. And so with Neosha, we hope that um, the code will be cleaner and easier for developers to read and to come on board new. I can say it's like it, it, today we have the current implementation and this implementation that we are doing are for it's like for novices, people that don't understand, uh, are not advanced developers because the current code was done by someone that was extremely experienced, experienced. so everyone who needs to develop using the code must be very experienced and this project aims to make things like a little bit simpler so it can have more community engagement and maybe uh, it's it might be easier to develop new features because it seems we ha they have really strict uh, development guidelines. It, it will be easier for you know to create new features that the community can use. The joint sprint between City of Zion and Neo Global Development 
was initiated by COZ founder Fabio Canison with the goal of strengthening the synergy between Neo Global Development and Community Development Initiatives. We all thought it was a good idea. We want to get our developers here in Shanghai face to face with uh, the developers from Neo itself because uh, nothing is better than being together in the same room when you're developing. We are an internet based organisation so our developers are all over the world. Um, we work in different time zones and we work through GitHub and Discord but to actually all be in the same office just makes everything a lot easier and we're getting a lot done while we're here. The working group was overwhelmingly satisfied with the progress achieved and the way in which the two organisations were able to align their goals for the good of the project. Uh, in the beginning I was a little bit skeptical because I thought that you know, uh, the, how can I say this? Uh, we are the we are the developers that we are not the official developers. So there was I thought that it might have some sort of conflict of interest. But when we got here, I realized that everybody is working with the same finality. So it was really uh, it was a really good experience for for us to know that you know we are, we are really working together and not like thinking separately. So we have a meeting together. We, are, we were included in several meetings about the, the future of the project and they discussed you know, what they want from us, what we expect from them and it wasn't like, oh, here's your assignment, I'm your boss now, it was very different from that. So I can only say that it's, so far it's, it's the best possible. Yeah, very positive. It's been excellent to actually sit down and work on our communication. Um, decide where we can put our teams the best use to improve NEO in the future. So coming here and being face to face has been invaluable for the team. Yeah. Yes, for me it was a great experience, like as Ricardo, uh, working with Eric uh, and see something and our issues uh, together to try to find the fix was for us amazing and something that we want to repeat again and again. In addition to collaborating with City of Zion on projects like Neo Sharp, Neo Global Development is also taking additional steps to further create a platform that will enable the development community to grow. Yes, actually it's a quite big question. Uh, Neo support uh, a lot of languages like uh, C Sharp, Python, Java, right? So for example, Neo Python is quite awesome project. Uh, so, uh, first we need to thanks for uh, local human and meta Chris and other you know developers from the community. They build uh, such amazing thing. Yes, and uh, <coughs> next step I think we need to uh, implement more you know a basic infrastructure like uh, this kind of project and make our ecosystem more complete. You know, and uh, documentations, videos, and. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, things are moving forward, so, yeah. yeah. And of course, everyone is always willing to give advice to new developers who may be looking to join the community. Join Discord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get involved, uh, just dive in, start coding, join Discord. There's lots of public development channels and ask questions and people will help you. Yeah. Um, I would say reach out to the maintainers the maintainers know what, are, what is lacking in the project and they know, depending on the level of skills you have, what to allocate to you, yes. The next stage in NEO's evolution is the recently announced NEO 3.0. NEO Global Development is working closely with the community on this endeavour, taking advice and suggestions on the best way forward. Yeah, NEO 3.0 uh, is going to be quite a long process. Uh, NGD are consulting with the community on GitHub. There's a whole load of issues. It's open for anyone with good ideas uh, who can put forth their ideas uh, within the issue to discuss and argue why they think different points in NEO 3 should happen. And it's going to be quite a long process, so anyone can uh, join in with that. Is it a little uh, amb ambitious? Plan. It's very Plan. ambitious, yeah. yeah. I think there will be big changes, but there's long enough to make sure we get those changes yeah. right. Yeah. I agree. Um, 
from the community's point of view, it's really good for us to see that uh, NGD are reaching yeah. outside to consult the community now that it's more mature and there are developers all over the world contributing. The relationship between NEO Global Development and City of Zion has been one of the driving forces in the growth of the NEO ecosystem. After a successful collaboration in Shanghai, both teams have designs on making these sprints a regular event and continuing in their shared pursuit of realising the new smart economy. Yeah, and um, are these sorts of new course team up something you think we will see more of in the future? Oh yeah, yeah, I'd love to. I think we should make it more regular um, as an event. Uh, every two, three months, I think, um, some of us should come over just so that we're all on the same page and working together properly. Um, yeah, if that's possible, we'd love to make that happen.